Hey guys, John from the John Muir Show here, and uh, do you remember that cut and dry murder case from Northeast Wisconsin that got a lot of attention because uh, some liberals decided they wanted to make a 10 part series about it, trying to defend the people who were the murderers? Uh, yeah, well, uh, that's coming back again. Yeah, you see, uh, Netflix has announced that Making a Murderer Part 2 is going to be coming to the internet next month, October 19th, is when it is all scheduled to get underway. And uh, yeah, for those of you who remember, Making a Murderer Part 1 came out a few years back. It was talking about uh, the stories of uh, Stephen Avery and his nephew Brendan Dassey in Mantua County, who were found guilty in the 2005 murder of Teresa Halbach. So it was going through, you know, a little bit of backstory, talking about uh, the as their entire legal proceedings played out, all of that stuff. Uh, yes, yeah, so now part two, we're told, is going to focus on uh, their time serving their life sentences in high security prisons for the crimes they've committed and also uh, documenting their appeals process to date. Uh, yeah, these guys are still appealing it. If you haven't been following the case since uh, Making a Murderer Part 1 uh, ended, yeah, so uh, both of them are still trying to get out on this. Brendan Dassey appealed uh, all the way up to the Supreme Court, and uh, the Supreme Court of the United States rightfully said, uh, yeah, no, we're not taking this case. Because if the Supreme Court was to take this case, then to be consistent, it would have to take every other murder case that is appealed to it as well. I mean, keep in mind that there is nothing different about this murder murder case than there is about any other murder case, uh, with the exception that a couple of liberals decide to make a documentary about it. And uh, yeah, I don't think because a couple of liberals made a documentary about it is a legitimate reason to say, oh, well, this murder case is so much more important than all the other murder cases. It deserves special attention that none of the other cases get. So with Brendan Dassey, it's done. You tried, it's over with. Deal with it. You were the one in the first place who confessed to law enforcement that you and your uncle murdered the woman. I, I mean, plain and simple. You told them you did it. You provided them details that they did not offer up. It, it's abundantly clear you and your uncle are murderers. And, and when it comes to his uncle, Stephen Avery, oh yeah, Stephen Avery, I mean, him and his, his legal team continue to try left and right. Their whole thing is, oh, we want a new trial. No, the first trial that we had, or the one where I was found guilty of being a murderer, nope, that one wasn't fair. We want a new one. And fortunately, the judge who's presiding over the case keeps saying deny, deny, deny every time because guess what? As the judge keeps repeating to Stephen Avery, and I understand he doesn't have the highest of IQ, so maybe you need to hammer it home like 50 million times before he gets it, is that he hasn't presented any new evidence to warrant a new case. It would be the same damn trial as it was last time, and guess what? It would be the same damn result because his co-conspirator admitted that they were a couple of murderers. And now after all of this, you you continue to have the people who make this make a murderer series saying, oh no, look, oh, Stephen and Brendan, what noble upstanding men in the community. Yeah, you know, they really need someone to go to bath for them. For, for, forget that they brutally murdered a woman and mutilated her, throwing her bones in a fire pit. Yeah, th that's the kind of people that needs defending in society. It's just unbelievable that this is going on. The only question that there is left to be out there, because there's no question, trust me, if you, if you haven't gotten it from uh, the first few minutes of this video, uh, Stephen and Brendan are murderers. They're guilty, and they deserve to spend the rest of their lives behind bars in a high-security prison like they're in right now. Uh, yeah, but the only question that's left is, because if you watch the uh, first part of the uh, Making a Murderer thing, the first 10 episodes, you would understand j just how crappy of a case that they made to, to try and make it seem like uh, Stephen and Brendan should be found innocent. The only question remaining is, can they make an even worse case round two than they did round one? Because aside from that, it is done and dusted. Leave it the hell alone. We all know the truth. You don't like the truth, but guess what? Deal with it, because it is the truth. And that's all the time that we have for today, but tune into the John Muir Show each and every weekday morning, 8.40 a.m. on WTAQ, 9 a.m. on WSAU and WHBL. Till next time, I'm out.